What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. I'm going to do a video and show you kind of a test of my water, my rain catchment system here. I got a lot of comments from people and also I was concerned about this as well, but I got a lot of comments about um, this potentially being a hazardous container. Um, even though it's a food grade container, it was holding some sort of cleanser or kind of a, a caustic substance. Uh, so people were saying, well, you know, it'll leach out into the water and so forth, even though it's been cleaned thoroughly. So today we're going to do a test. I'm going to use some of this water. It's, it's all the way filled up now uh, since we've had so much rain recently. And I'm going to put it, put some water into this aquarium that I have and put some of these feeder goldfish into it um, and see you know, just kind of as a test, if, if the goldfish can live, then it's obviously not going to kill a human. So um, I know that's probably not the most definitive test, but it's, it's, uh, it's the quick and dirty test to find out if, if the water is, is very harmful or if it's just kind of just needs a basic filtration or something like that. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. I'm not going to fill up the whole thing um, for this test. I'm um, just going to fill it up three or four inches with some of that water and put the goldfish in and we will check back uh, in 24 or 48 hours or something like that and see how they're doing. Alright, there we go. Got all the fish in there. Uh, there's probably four or five gallons of water in there. This is a 20 gallon tank, so probably four gallons-ish. Um, that's plenty for, what, six? six fish so um, I got this idea from uh, kind of the old like mining days coal mining days or whatever where they would take canaries down into the uh, mine with them to you know if the, if the canary passed out then, uh, then they would know that there's you know carbon monoxide or something harmful down there that uh, that they need to uh, get away from so um, these fish should be able to pretty quickly tell me if this water is super toxic or not and like I said, we'll check back in in a couple days and see what's happened. Okay guys, it's two days later. And as you can see, I put a aquarium heater in there um, just so that uh, we didn't end up killing them from cold um, instead of uh, the water quality. And I've also been feeding them some, some fish flakes they're doing really, really well. They're active. They're, uh, you know, none of them are dead. There's still six of them in here. And uh, they don't show any signs of, of any sickness or anything like that. So I'm going to call this a success. The water is safe. Uh, I still probably will uh, filter it if, if I need to, but I, I would not feel, have any problems giving this to my family to drink in an absolute emergency situation. Obviously this is this is only for a disaster. I'm not going to choose to drink this, but if I had to I would and uh, I hope that this has uh, been informative and, and a good little test. So anyway, thanks for watching guys.